up nerds, Machina here and today we're making a companion cube from Portal that also functions as a storage box. So put your game face on and come along. We're gonna make a sketch before starting just to clear up what goes where, as we'll use a few different materials and layers. First off, we're cutting a top and the bottom piece out of MDF. Now we can make four equal sides to match the top and the bottom. The MDF is perfect for this as it's really easy to shape and work with. The foam that will cover this up probably won't be able to hold the weight over time, but we can fix that by adding some legs. Now we got these pieces that we can make into a box. Before putting the box together, we'll attach the legs to the bottom using screws. Just making sure it's rigid. Yep, looking good. Alright, time to glue the sides together. We're using both wood glue and nails, just in case, you know, cause I don't want none of this to fall apart. When it's dry, we can add it to the bottom we made earlier. While that glue is drying, we can deal with the circles that will contain the cute heart shapes of the companion cube. We're gonna make six of these as we need one for each side. Personally, I prefer using scroll saw to get shapes like these, just because it's easy to control, but of course there are other ways to do this. The circles aren't perfectly round just yet, so we gotta fix that. All we need is a sander. One circle for each side. Like that. And we can finish the lid. All we're gonna do with the lid really is that we're gonna create a square that can slip into the tracks of the box. It's just to make it stay in the place we want it to be. The box is finished! For now anyway. Since we'll cover up some parts with acrylic glass, some of the MDF is gonna be visible and that brown color, well, that doesn't fit. It's gotta be pink and cute and stuff. An acrylic paint, that will do the job. The inside is also kind of boring, so we'll paint that as well. The acrylic will be glued to the pink areas on the box, so we need 24 small rectangular pieces and 6 larger circular pieces. Again, we can use a scroll saw to cut them. Now we just gotta take all of those pieces and sand them all down. We'll soon get to the electronics, we just gotta glue on those acrylic pieces first. Okay now, we could've made it RGB, but I wanted to stick to the original cube, and so I bought a pink LED strip. You'll find the link to it in the description. Here goes for the electronics. Step 1. Cut the strip to shorter lengths. Step 2. Solder those together. And step 3. Glue them onto the acrylic. And this is where it gets a bit more tricky because we need to power the lid while being able to remove it at any time. Our solution? Contact points. These two screws on the lid will complete the circuit when they come in contact with two pieces of metal fastened to the box. These metal pieces are again connected to the LED strips. The backside of the screws can be cut off and then we can solder wires from them to the LEDs. Just check in if it will work... and it does! Awesome! When we're done adding the rest of the LED strips around the cube, we can find a spot to put the power input. Let's put it along one of the bottom legs here. I actually changed my mind a bit here because I added a power plug like this first, but... After a while I realized it would be totally awesome if the lights could fade in and out, and so I went back later on to add an LED controller. I'll get back to that. Right here we have the foam we're gonna cover this whole thing up with. Let's begin with the hearts. The thick foam is a bit hard to cut accurately, but we only need a rough shape as we're going to cover it up later. I tried using scissors, but utility knife was definitely the better choice here. A white and thin foam is what we'll use to cover all the visible surfaces with, just like this. Okay, so we've actually made all of them, and now we can glue it to the cube. Hey, it's actually starting to look like something. Awesome! Unfortunately, the clips showing how I covered up the bottom surface got lost, but it's not that complicated. It's just thick foam with thin grey foam over it. It's actually quite simple. There is only one layer left on top of this one, and that's the corner pieces. We do the exact same thing here, we just need to spend a bit more time shaping it with scissors and the utility knife. Look at that, it fits perfectly! Now we just gotta continue to cover up all the MDF surfaces until none of it's visible. In addition to those corner pieces we made, we need to make some angled shapes for all the sides. And it's very repetitive. Cut, glue on foam, cut some more, and glue onto the cube. Not gonna lie, it's quite time consuming. Now, I did mention that I changed out the power input with this controller. It's actually wireless, and you can find the link to it down below. I had to make space for it inside one of the corners, but it's quite well hidden. We'll just cut away the old input and solder on this one. 
we can hide the signal cable right here, like this, and that way it's within reach from the front. The lid's a bit heavy, so we're gonna add a couple of handles just to make it easier to lift it up. And this is actually how far we've gotten. Alright, let's fast forward on covering up those surfaces. And we do the same on the lid. And now we just gotta cut a 45 degree angle along the edge here, both in the box and the lid, so that we'll be able to put the two pieces together. And again, covering it all up with the grey foam. And finally, the moment we've all looked forward to, adding the final corner pieces! Damn, that feels good! One of the main reasons I wanted to make this project was that I really wanted to work with foam, because that's a material I haven't really used before. And what I found was that it's kind of hard to work with. I mean, it's really hard to get it symmetrical and get all the shapes you want, but the end result of it actually looks really good. You can't really see that all the pieces aren't symmetrical in the end, but I'm really happy with the overall look of it. Looks really cool, at least I think. If you enjoy watching our videos, I would really appreciate if you check out our Patreon, links down below. All the support we get there goes into our new projects. If you enjoyed this build, I would appreciate if you take one moment to click the subscribe button so that we can see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.